In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to host your Node.js applications. And we are going to use Cloudways as our hosting provider. Cloudways is probably one of the best cloud hosting provider out there. So whether you're building your first app or deploying your production ready project, Cloudways makes the entire process super simple, even if you're a non-technical person. So without wasting any time, let's just start this video. But before we start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. And also please hype this video. It will help us to reach more audience. All right, so to start using Cloudways, just go to cloudways.com or just click on the link in description. And after that, you can just sign up or simply just click on this try now for free. You can have a free three days trial. So once you have created your account, simply just click on login and just log into your cloudways dashboard so this is how the dashboard of cloudways looks like what we're going to do we're just going to create a new project so i'll simply just go to this my project section in here and here you can see i have got two projects i can simply just click on this add project button and now i can just give this project a name and also i can select an application from here what is an application and how to create an application i'll tell you in a minute but for now you can just like create a project in here and then simply just click on this create project button so once you've created your project now next step is to create a server so you can just go to this section and from here you can just choose this option which is a server i can simply just click on that and after that you can see i already have just created this server in here and now i can simply just click on this add server button if i just click on that and now from here i can just like choose an application so i'm going to choose php from here because we are going to use a node.js project and there is no option for node.js in here so that's why i'm just going to use this custom php app in here and after that i can just like give this application a name and then i can just like add a name for this server as well and now i can just like select the project that i just created in that project section i can just like select that project from here now the next option that we have here is this application stack so we got two options the first one is hybrid stack the second one is lightning stack in our case because we have a node.js application we are going to use this hybrid stack then we have this option to select a server so here you can see we can select either a digital ocean server again that is another host provider or cloud hosting provider and also we have like the most popular options like aws and google cloud but in this case i'm going to just choose digital ocean i'll just leave everything to default you can change your server location as well but i'll just like leave it to new york and after that you can simply just click on this launch now button and also this server will cost you 54 dollars per month this is comparatively a cheaper option than most of these other cloud hosting providers once you have selected everything simply just click on this launch now button and then it will just create your server it might take few minutes before your server is active so you can wait for a few minutes but once your server is active this is how it will look like now we have created a server now the next step is to create an application you can add more than one applications inside a server so let me just guide you that how you can add an application inside a server so to create an application just go to your my applications tab and now from here you can simply just click on this add application and now you can just like choose a server so currently you can see i have just this one server i'll simply just choose this server and then after that i'll simply just click on this add application and now i can just like name this application i can just like add it as a custom php then just give it a name and then after that i can just like choose my project and after that i can simply just click on add application so your application will be created and you can find it inside your applications tab i'll simply just click on it now and now here you can find your application details once you have created your application now you need to connect your node.js project with this application so i've just created a simple node.js project for this video so let me just show you that how you can connect that node.js project project with your application and then you can deploy your node.js project so this is my simple node.js project here you can see i have just got this server.js file in here and you can see currently this project is running if i just open it so let me just open it so here you can see this is the message that it will display that means that project is running on localhost now it is running on localhost not in a production environment so that's why we need to deploy this node.js project on cloudways to use it in a production environment so to do that what we are going to do we are going to upload our node.js project on github you can see this is my github account and now i'll just create a new github repository and then i'll just give this github repository a name just give it any name and then after that create your github repository i already created this github repository and then i pushed my code in here and here you can see i got my server.js file package.json file package log.json file and readme.md file as well so once your project is on github now next step is you need to go back to cloudways and in here just go to your my applications and just open your application from here and then you can just like choose this deployment via git simply just click on that and after that you need to do a couple of things the first thing that you need to do you need 
to add your SSH key inside your GitHub account. So to do that, what you can do, you can simply just click on this view SSH key, simply just click on that and it will preview this SSH key. Please do not try to copy mine. I'll just delete right after this tutorial. So just do not try to copy mine. So I'll simply just copy this SSH key from here. And after that, I'll just go back to GitHub. And now what I'll do, I'll simply just go to my GitHub profile. After that, I can simply just go to this settings tab. And now in here on this left side, we can find this SSH and GPG keys. And now I can simply just click on this add new SSH key. And now I can just like add that SSH key from there. Just give it a title. And after that, I can simply just click on this add SSH key. Once you have done that, now the next step is you need to add your Git remote address. To do that, what you need to do, you need to simply just go back to your GitHub repository. From here, simply just copy this SSH address from here inside this code. Just simply click on this drop down. And now simply just click on this ssh and just copy this from here and now just provide that inside this git remote address and then after that you can simply just click on this authenticate button and then it will authenticate your github repository because you have already added your ssh key so it doesn't matter if your github repository is public or private it will just add that in here after that you can just fetch all of your branches from here currently you can see i have only one branch which is main so i'll simply just choose that and now there is this deployment path if you want to like give a different path then this public underscore html you can just like mention it here but i'm just going to go with this default path and after that you can simply just like click on this pull button and then it will just like deploy this on our server so you can see it currently it is showing that node app repository has been updated now the next step is a little bit complex we need to log into our server console and then we need to make few changings in there there is a very detailed blog from cloudways about this i'll just leave a link to that blog as well in description so you can just find it in description there's a very detailed step by step guideline but i'll just walk you through as well and i'll just like implement all of those steps and then guide you about all of the remaining steps so if you just write on google how to host a node.js app on cloudways so you can find the this link so you can simply open this blog from here and now you can see this is a very detailed step-by-step -step blog about this topic so we have already covered most of the steps now let me just guide you about the remaining steps now let's just go to our server section so i'll simply just click on this my servers button and now from here i'll simply just click on this and here you can find our credentials so this is our ip address this is our username and this is our password now what you need to do you need to simply just click on this launch ssh terminal simply just click on that and then it will just open an ssh terminal so this is the ssh terminal and here i need to log in with these details the first detail that i need to provide there is this username so i'll simply just copy it from here and then i'll just paste it there so i just entered my username i'll simply just press enter and now let me just add my password so once you've entered your username and password it will give you access to your server in this terminal now here i'll just enter ls to see what applications i have i'll just then cd then applications to navigate to applications then again i'll just enter ls and here we can see this is the application that i have so this is basically the application id if you have multiple applications it will just show you these multiple ids but right now i have just one application so that's why it is just showing me this one id so now i can just like cd and then this particular application so i just entered my application id i just press enter so here you can see i just entered my application id and now i am inside this application now let me just see what's inside this application i'll just enter ls press enter and here i can see this content inside this application so i'll simply just go to cd public underscore html because that's where our application is our node.js project is there so i'll simply just go to cd public underscore html press enter and now we are inside there i'll simply just enter ls again to find what's inside and here you can see this is our node.js project content and here you can find like readme file readme.md file then there's this index.php file then package-log.json file then package.json file and server.js file so you can see all of our files are in here that shows that we are in right directory we are in our right application and our project files are uploaded to this application now let me just install the dependencies to run npm install i'll just run this command and it, what it will do it will just like install all of the dependencies which are listed inside this package.json here you can see we need express and we can see here is our node modules so locally on our computer it has this node modules folder so this is where all of the dependencies were installed so let me just quickly install npm install press enter and now it will install all of the dependencies which are required to run this project now you can see all of the dependencies are installed now i can just run this command node server.js so now you can see our project is running 
on this local host right here inside this server so it is running on this port but the problem is if i just like go to my application and in here if i just like click on this application url and here you can see it is just like showing this default template content in here it is not showing our server content so we need to fix that and run our server on our application url so basically if we just follow this block from here and it asks us to create a dot ht access file inside our server so to do that what we can do we can simply just like touch just write this touch dot ht access press enter and now it has created our dot ht access file now let me just check if that file was created ls hyphen a and here you can see ht access file has been created now we need to do some configuration inside this dot ht access file and this is the code for it so what i'll do i'll just like come back to my terminal i'll just write vim dot ht access press enter and now it will open this what i'll do next so here just enter in insert mode by simply pressing i and now you can see we have this insert mode in here now what you need to do you need to simply just copy this from here and then paste that in here so i've just entered the first one which is this directory index disabled and then the second one let me just add that the third one is this rewrite base and then so once you have entered everything simply just press ctrl c and then just come back to the terminal so now if you just run your server it should be working fine there is only one problem that you might face that is actually this mode proxy so if your mode proxy is not enabled you may see similar kind of error the error that you can see here in the log and the application will not work because i mode underscore proxy is disabled by default on cloudways server so to fix that you can just like contact cloudways port and then they can just like enable this for you and once as soon as it is enabled then you can just like run your application and your application will run fine i know it got a bit technical at that but this is the easiest and simplest possible way to deploy your node.js project on cloudways i will make more videos on this topic and i'll show you that how you can use cloudways to deploy your express or like node.js project if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i'll see you next video Bye -bye.